What if we could only see the stars in the Milky Way, other stars and galaxies having accelerated beyond our horizon? Because the fabric of the universe is rapidly expanding, faraway galaxies are moving away from us faster than the speed of light. So how can light from these faraway galaxies ever reach us, allowing us to detect it? Or can we? At first, everyone, including well-known physicists Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein, believed that the universe was static, for no particular reason. But in the late 1920s, Edwin Hubble discovered that the universe was in fact expanding. Not only that, but Hubble observed that the further galaxies were, the faster they were moving away from Earth. This is called Hubble's Law. The universe expands at about 70 kilometers per second per megaparsec. This means that a galaxy 1 megaparsec, or 3.26 million light years away from us, recedes at about 70 kilometers per second while another galaxy, 2 megaparsecs, or 6.52 million light years away from us, recedes at 140 kilometers per second, and so on. Thus, there must be a certain distance so far away from our position that stars and galaxies would have a recession velocity greater than the speed of light. This would not break Einstein's special theory of relativity, which says that nothing can travel through space faster than the speed of light. This is because the galaxies itself aren't traveling faster than light, it's just that the space between them is expanding at a speed faster than light. The distance at which stars and galaxies would be receding faster than the speed of light is 4,300 megaparsecs, or 14 billion light years, and this boundary is where the Hubble sphere is. The Hubble sphere is an imaginary sphere centered at us, outside of which everything recedes faster than the speed of light. So from this, we can easily conclude that we would not be able to see anything beyond the Hubble sphere, right? Well, it's actually not that simple. Actually, as the universe expands, the Hubble sphere expands as well. Thus, at some point in time, light emitted from galaxies outside of the Hubble sphere may eventually reach our horizon as it moves toward the expanding Hubble sphere. So just because something is outside of the Hubble sphere doesn't mean that we will never be able to see it. In other words, the observable universe is bigger than the Hubble sphere. Another explanation for why we can't see light from faraway galaxies has to do with the Doppler effect and redshifting. Even if the light from galaxies moving faster than the speed of light does eventually reach us, it may be impossible for us to detect it. This is because the light wave moving toward us is stretched to such a long wavelength as the galaxy itself moves away that not even our radio telescopes can detect them. This is called the Doppler effect. The light would go down the electromagnetic spectrum from gamma rays to x-rays, UV light, visible light, infrared radiation, microwaves, and eventually to radio waves, the longest form of radiation. This is called redshifting, as it shifts to the red end of the electromagnetic spectrum, which basically means that its wavelength is increasing. So the ultimate question is, have we missed a chunk of history from our universe? Has it left our horizon forever? The truth is, we don't know what we don't know. And I know that's not a satisfactory answer. But we do know that we have detected cosmic microwave background radiation, which we believe to be a remnant of the early universe 380,000 years after the Big Bang, which was the beginning of everything, including the expansion of the universe and the beginning of time itself. Just think about it. It's a lot to take in. Please subscribe to Physica for more videos like this on interesting scientific concepts.